What's up, Every Nation? Nine-year NFL veteran and Christian apologist Mike DeVito here. And in this video, I want to talk about the problem of evil. Uh, this is what most philosophers consider to be the strongest objection to belief in God. And that's the claim that if God is all-powerful and all-loving, why is there so much evil and suffering in the world? Either God is all-powerful and can stop it, but he doesn't, and therefore he's not all-loving. Or God is all-loving and wants to stop it, but he can't, and therefore he's not all-powerful. Uh, but either way, it seems to be that there's a conflict between these two claims uh, and the claim that evil exists, um, which seems to be obvious when you look at the world around us. Uh, and so one way to deal with this objection is just to admit we don't know why there's so much evil and suffering in the world, um, but that doesn't mean God can't have a reason for allowing it to occur. Um, we are in what's called a limited epistemic position. Uh, that's just a fancy way of saying God's thoughts are way above our thoughts. God's ways are way above our ways. Uh, and so God can have a perfectly good reason to allow evil and suffering to occur uh, that we just can't grasp or understand. Uh, and so it's important to remember that the uh, burden of proof with this objection is on the person laying out the objection. Um, so the burden of proof would be on the person who says there is a logical conflict here. And where we are in our epistemic access and, and how God is so much greater than us, um, uh, it doesn't seem that there is any logical conflict that would force us to abandon belief in God just because we don't know why God allows evil and suffering to occur.